Welcome back to our video module on dynamics. Today I'd like to extend our previous merry-go-round problem by pretending that now our observer is not at the origin or is our fixed frame is not at the origin rather it's some distance away and I'd like to understand how this changes our final result. So remember that by using our rotation matrix we can transform our x prime y prime coordinates into x and y coordinates. Another way to see that is to pretend that we're looking at these gray axes and we know that we're able to define the x prime y prime in terms of that axis. Now all we need to do is identify the difference between that axis and the teal axis. The first thing we do is we identify a vector that goes from the fixed frame origin to the origin of the rotating coordinate frame. Next, let's say in, in green, we identify a vector that goes from this origin up to the prime spot, and we know that the sum of those two components is going to be the final position in the stationary reference frame. So what would that look like? Well, the stationary reference frame we're going to say is uh, R, we want the position of point P with respect to O, and that's going to be this orange line first. And that is the position of O prime with respect to O. We're finding the position of the prime origin compared to the fixed origin, plus the position of point P with respect to O prime. And this position is what we focused on on our last video. It told us where point P was in relationship to this rotated coordinate frame. So this is our final position equation that accounts for translation right here and rotation right here. A quick note that if this term here is defined by I prime and J prime vectors, we'll want to apply the rotation matrix so that we can put this into I and J terms or the fixed frame. This equation includes translation and rotation, which is enough information that we can tie any two coordinate frames together. In other words, we could have a fixed coordinate frame or lab coordinate frame, and this equation would allow us to tie that to any other coordinate frame out there if we're only looking at position. Stay tuned on our next video modules as we explore relative coordinate frames more.